Western Australia. I'm here with Bill from Neo Buggy, and today we're just going to talk about the track at the Femca Championships. So basically, as you can see, some who did the 2010 Worlds will will remember the layout, and it starts off exactly the same as we hit the main straightaway, the high speed sweeper into the top bowl section, and from there it does change a little bit. We we head up and then back down through a mostly high speed, full RPM, and we come into really what is only the, own, the rhythm section. And uh, it's just a double, double, double that it does look very simple. But what most people are having trouble with is, is the high speed of the track. So as you come down the first turn there before the, the first section of the double, 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 your car really wants to unload a little bit. And, and what I will, will touch on is the reason it wants to unload so much and traction roll is because of the surface. Instead of like at the World Championships in 2010 where they used a, an oil-based additive for the, for the clay, they've now changed that and decided to go with what people believe is a molasses or a really strong amount of sugar and water and they put on the track. And, and wherever you can see the black, that's where they put the additive on there. So again, as you come down that first turn, it's one of the, the grippiest sections of the track. We hit the double, the double, the double, but the first two sections of the double, you, you're constantly turning the car at the same time while having to get that rhythm right. If you can do that, hit the down slope of the third double, put a little hairpin there, we come into just a single and then a, then a little step up double, it's pretty basic, up around to the back tabletop. Now this, for the new guys or anyone who hadn't put any laps down at the practice session on the previous weekend, is it's a really challenging aspect of the track. Pretty much have to commit to it. If you don't, you lose a lot of time. And But if you do commit to it and you make a mistake, you really do pay for it. And you'll find that if someone's gonna break their car, that's where it's gonna be on this track at the moment. So after the back tabletop, you come around uh, a, a sweeper turn again. It's it's hard to judge because of how far away that that section of the track is, and it's hidden behind a fence at the same time. We come around, we step up, hairpin step off. The step off section is quite challenging as well, simply because the downslope of the of the the step off is steeper than the upslope, so the angle the car is falling. It just makes it really challenging and you pretty much flat land every time. A little bit of an off camber hairpin where you, you have to get the car right. Short, fast shoot along the back section into it. Again, another left hand sweeper into the drop down. And then we come up to one of the sections on the track which people are starting to really experiment with now. And that, it is a single single. And traditionally that's how pretty much everyone here at the Femca Champs has been taking it. but. In the last round, there were a few drivers who were attempting to do it as a whole, in a double. And they were successful two out of three times. And I think as the event goes on, I know myself, I'll, I'll be attempting it in the next round. But I think you'll find if you're not doing the double come semis and finals time, you, you may be a second a lap off the pace because that's how much time it does save. After the single, single or double, you come around onto that main straight again. and. Pretty much that's the basic lap of the track.